This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be updating our Switch firmware offline. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so in this video we're going to be updating to the latest Switch firmware, which is right now 16.0.1. But those of you that are watching in the future and you have a higher firmware than mine, that's okay. The process is exactly the same. All you need to do is just download the firmware that you're trying to update to and continue the process like I'm going to do here. But for this video, we're doing the latest switch firmware 16.0.1. That being said, we can go ahead and continue. Now, what we need to do is open up our SD card and have it ready for file transfer. But with the SD card, I would like to mention that you do need to have custom firmware already set up on your switch or your SD card. And with that being said, it would be highly recommended that you have the latest version of custom firmware that supports your firmware. So right now with 16.0.1, the latest custom firmware is Atmosphere 1.5.1, which is what I have already. And if you don't have that already, I do have a video that I just posted before this one to help you update because it's better to update your custom firmware first and then your switch firmware a second. So if you haven't done that already, I'll leave a link in the description so that way you can follow along with that video with custom firmware and then we can come back to this video and update our switch firmware. So I did it in two separate videos because one, my videos are always long and I don't want anybody to just skip ahead and might miss some important um, things that I say. So I just separated them two different videos. And I think it's better to organize this way because some people just want to update custom firmware. Some people want to update just firmware as well. So with the SD card, if you have a custom firmware already set up, now we can go ahead and download this one zip file for today. So this is the firmware 16.0.1 and I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find it at right now, which is going to be this website right here. In the description, it should say something like this, uh, download here. And once you click on that, it'll take you to this page. And here you can see the latest switch firmware, which is 16.0.1. You can just go ahead and download it from any one of these links here. I use this link here. And once you're finished, then you can have it dragged to the desktop and have it ready for the next step. So once we download this file here, we're going to want to use our um, zipping software to extract it. I use 7-zip because I always do this particular way of extracting these files and 7-Zip helps me out a lot. If you want to follow along with me with that, I highly recommend using it. And I'll leave a download link in the description so that way you can follow with me after. But with 7-Zip, I'm going to open the archive. And here you can see all the files inside this update. It will say 229 or depending on the file that you download, um, it might have a different uh, number. But of course, if you're doing 16.0.1, it should be the same number as mine. So before we extract any files, we do need to create a folder inside the SD card. So in here in the SD card, we're going to want to right click on the empty space and make a new folder. And here we're going to want to name it firmware. I'm going to put it all caps because it's just easier that way. And with firmware, what we're going to want to do now is with 7-zip, we're going to want to highlight all these files on here. Highlight all the files on here. And then with 7-Zip, and the reason why I keep saying with 7-Zip, because if you're using WinZip or any type of zipping software, this doesn't work too well, what I'm doing here. But with that, you can highlight all the files. Make sure it's 229 selected. And then extract them to the firmware folder on your SD card. Now, this only works with 7-Zip because I've tried with WinZip and um, other type of zipping softwares. and Nothing works like this. So that's why I highly recommend using it as well. Let's get this transfer um, file over and I'll catch up to you when it's done. Okay, so once all the files transfer over, you can go ahead and look inside uh, the firmware folder and you should have 229 items. So just make sure you do have all 229 items or how many items the firmware folder comes with once you download it because it's really important. I don't want to have anybody make any mistakes or have any issues with what we're trying to do here. So you have 229 items 
This has 229 items, then we should be good to go. We can close out of the zip file, and here we can actually get out of the SD card and go into the um, switch with custom firmware, and then we can follow the next steps there. So I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so here at the switch home menu, I um, just want to show you right before we do anything that if you go into the system settings and go all the way down to system, you'll see it right under my system update. I am on the current version right now, 16.0.0, and I have the latest switch firmware that supports 16.0.1 and 16.0.0, atmosphere 1.5.1. So like I said, you do need to have your custom firmware updated first. And then we can go ahead and update the switch firmware. So we're going to go ahead and do it offline. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to want to go into the album. And here we see the homebrew menu. And here we're going to want to go into Daybreak. Once you're in Daybreak, you can go ahead and click on install. And here is your SD card directory. And what we're going to want to do is look for the folder that we have named firmware. Once you click on that, it'll show on the directory, it says um, version 16.0.1, XFAT is supported, and it's validating to make sure that everything is okay. So if you're missing any type of files, you most likely will get an error here. But just in case, you do want to make sure that you do have all the files in place. So it does say validating update. Update is valid. If everything is good, then go ahead and click on continue. And here it says select settings mode. You want to reset, you, you're going to want to preserve the settings. So make sure the purple is on preserve settings and then click OK. And here it says select driver variant. You always want to install the FAT32. Even though your SD card is in FAT32 format, it is the best thing to install FAT32 plus XFAT. Okay, so make sure the purple is on. FAT32 plus XFAT and click on OK. And it says ready to begin installation. Are you sure? Go ahead and click on continue. And let the installation uh, complete. And we'll see how it goes right after. So that's pretty fast, actually. <laughs> I, I was about to skip ahead. But it says there that the update was applied successfully. And now all we need to do is reboot. And once we click on reboot, it should automatically put you back in atmosphere and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and check it out. Reboot, see what my switch is doing. Rebooting, and it rebooted right back into atmosphere. So you didn't have to go back and inject anything or some stuff like that. There we go. So now we are back at the switch home menu and we can go ahead and check it out. Go to system settings, scroll all the way down to system. And now it should say the current version is 16.0.1 and my atmosphere is 1.5. Point one uh, with an S, of course. So that's pretty much it, guys. You should be good to go. You've successfully updated your switch with both custom firmware and six, um, switch firmware if you followed both of my videos. So everything should be set up just fine, just to make sure that things work. If you also follow my channel, I do the community packs for these apps here. And if you're able to go into them and see the pack, or see the extra titles that I've added, then everything is working just fine. So just, just for sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. And there you go. So it has all the titles here. And if you are able to uh, see all the titles, then that means your custom firmware is still working just fine and you are on the latest Switch firmware. So that's pretty much it, guys. Everything is working on my end. I hope everything works for you, but of course, if it doesn't work for you, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best I can. It's pretty much straightforward here uh, with using the daybreak. It's a whole lot easier than what it used to be back in the day. And yeah, so let me know if it doesn't work for you and also let me know if it does work for you. Um, also, let me know if you followed my other video on updating your custom former and as well as the packs. So. Yeah, message whatever you like in the comments and thank you everybody for supporting the channel, supporting me, really appreciate it and I'm really happy to do these kind of things for y'all and I appreciate those that wait for me um, to do these kind of videos. So thank you very much, love you guys and as always, I'll see you on the next one.